All right, so I thought I'd make a video um, showing this where I've had two customers um, having the same issue with two different model laptops. One was an HP Pavilion laptop, model 15-CS3153CL. The other one was the HP Pavilion laptop 15-CS3063CL. So basically what happened was whenever you move this touchpad, trackpad, the screen would start flickering, going black, showing lines, going all crazy. And I thought, okay, maybe your screen was damaged. I didn't know it was just linked to only moving the touchpad. The screen was going all crazy. I thought maybe it was like from moving the screen, the cable was bad um, or something else. But it turns out something going on with software drivers, probably Microsoft updated something that affected certain Intel uh, integrated graphics. But here's um, a workaround. So first thing you want to do, if your screen is going all weird and flickering like that, um, you could either, if you can't shut it down normally or get to the shutdown restart menu, you can force power it off. So normally you would have the little windows button down here because this is happening on windows 11 devices. So you'd have the little flag button down there. It's like blue. Um, I have mine moved up here, but you would click this. Okay. And what you would do is you would go to the power thing and then you would just restart. If after restarting, your computer is working perfectly fine and it's not doing the flickering thing, and if it continues working fine the whole day until you turn off your computer and turn it back on, then this issue or this solution will help you. So what you want to do is you'll press the start button either here or you can click that. If you have a touch screen, you can tap that. Okay. And then what we're going to do, you don't need to press anywhere because it automatically goes to the search, but you're going to type in power. Okay. So you'll see it goes power. You'll look through the list. You should see one that has like these this green battery icon. Okay, mine is kind of small, but it'll be like this edit power plan or choose a power plan. So what you'll do is you'll click one of those. Okay, the tricky part is this isn't what you want to actually go to. What you're going to go to is you click the power options up here. Okay, in the power options, you'll see this choose what closing the lid does or choose what the power buttons do, but we're gonna do choose what closing the lid does. Either one should work. Okay, so when you get into here, what you wanna do, you'll see this change settings that are currently unavailable. You'll press that. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to here, turn on fast startup. You're gonna uncheck that box. This fast startup thing, it's kind of like a hybrid sleep shutdown thing. Um, most, most modern new computers these days have solid state drives. And this fast startup thing doesn't really save much time. At most, you'll get like probably less than five seconds of a faster boot time, I think. So there's no point even having that on. I feel, it's, I don't know, Microsoft is kind of doing stupid stuff. Um, but basically what this does is it makes it so system files don't reset properly when you do a normal shutdown and startup. And that's kind of bad because people have been conditioned to thinking that shutting down your computer and turning it back on is kind of like uh, rebooting. But uh, Microsoft made it to where it's more like a hibernate, hybrid sleep kind of thing. So that ends up causing problems. So you want to turn that off. Then obviously you click save changes. And then that way, because if restarting the computer fixed the problem, Basically what the restart does is it does where it resets all the, those system files that come up when you start up the computer and that the fast startup was preventing from happening during shutdown. And for some reason, uh, the shutdown was causing um, whatever it's keeping in the, like for the fast boot causes that glitchy issue where you move the mouse or touchpad. Um, so again, this is, um, I've only so far seen this on two HP laptops. Um, we'll see if it continue, if I keep seeing customers with this issue and if that keeps happening, then I will know, um, that there's a more widespread issue. I have a feeling eventually Microsoft or HP or whoever's going to release an update to fix that problem. But for now, um, that's the solution workaround where because the software is glitchy and buggy, um, you're going to want to turn off that fast startup feature. Once you turn that fast startup feature, shutdown should work basically the same as the restart option. And then that way, when you turn it on after the shutdown, you should be okay. It shouldn't be flickering. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, then you can just restart or shut down your computer as normal. Um, you can test to make sure um, after you finish turning off that feature, shut down the computer, start it back up normally, and see if the flickering is gone. If the flickering is gone, then you that will fix the problem. If the flickering comes back, you want to check if that feature somehow turned itself back on again. We're going to turn the computer back on, but mine doesn't have that flickering issue. I'm just using my computer to demonstrate like how to change the setting and things like that. Um, but if you want to confirm and verify that it is that software issue, you can turn the fast startup back on and then do a shutdown and turn it back on. And if the flickering comes back immediately, like every single time, then you know for a fact, 100%, that it is caused by that issue and that should fix it. All right, again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. This kind of issue for me to figure it out, um, I had a customer, like a couple customers bring it in. That, uh, for that software thing, once I figured it out, it was like a $60 fix. So if you watch this video and it helps you fix your computer, I just saved you at least 60 bucks. Um, if you brought your computer somewhere else, because I don't think anybody else knows like how to fix this problem they're probably going to tell you you need to replace this you need to replace that you need to wipe out your system you need to do all of these things it's going to cost you a lot more money to do it and um the first customer that brought it uh theirs they had like a broken hinge as well after i fixed that um i thought maybe the hinge also damaged the screen so i wasn't even thinking it would be a software issue after I replaced the screen, um, it seemed okay, but that's because it did a restart. But then once I did a shutdown and turn on, the issue came back. So I found out, yes, it's not a screen issue. I thought maybe it was the cable and that moving this would cause it. And I was about to go and replace the cable. And then I found out that every time I did a regular restart, the issue was gone. So that's when it made me think, let me try disabling the fast startup. And that seemed to fix it the second customer that came in it was like a five minute job or so just go in there turn off that setting verify it works turn it back on make sure it comes back and then after i made sure that the issue comes back with fast startup on shut it back down turn that feature back off and solved it so yeah that's pretty much it um now that you have this video now that you can see this um you should be able to fix that issue pretty quick pretty easily and save a bunch of money. All right, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.